What's going on? What's up? What's up, people? It's your boy the Dean. It's Monday. Uh, we got a show tonight at um, 8 East. We got a show tonight, so make sure y'all got a good show tonight on the Red Man Group, man. So make sure y'all type in the Red Man Group. Um, make sure y'all check the Red Man Group. And uh, y'all got uh, questions, go ahead and cap them. Here to answer any questions y'all got, just chop it up with you. We got a good show tonight, so make sure y'all tune into that shit tonight, and uh, we'll go from there. So, um, it's just a ride with the Dean, just doing some Q's and A's if you got any questions. or if there's something on your mind that you're having trouble with when it comes to this relationship stuff, let me know, and I'll be happy to um, help you out with that. Just cap your questions if you can, please, and uh, we'll... Uh, Definitely go from there. I like this song, man. I don't know why, but I like this song. Mm. So, yes, uh, so. I wonder how y'all did this weekend. Did y'all get out there and get a chance to go out and meet any women? Did you meet anybody new? Did you talk to somebody you finally wanted to uh, talk to? Hey, what's going on, fam? You got a question, uh, be happy to answer it. But yeah, have y'all, uh, did y'all do anything special for yourselves to elevate yourselves this weekend? That's, uh, I guess, the question that you should ask yourself. So, it's good, Theo. What's up with you, man? Just ride before the show. We got a, I said we got a show at uh, 8 East, so. Just seeing what's up with y'all guys and all the other stuff, man. Uh, if y'all got any questions, real quick, feel free to ask them. Gosh, you need to cap your questions, but <laughs> cap your question, man. Please cap your question, dude. I'm driving. Why does it seem like women test you for knowing that you can handle it, but also knowing that you're the right man? What? What? Why does it seem like, why does it seem like women will test you knowing you can handle it, but also knowing it's not the right time. What do you mean the right time? I don't understand the question. A woman is always going to test you for two different reasons and two different reasons only. First reason she's going to test you to see if you're real. That's test number one. The second test that you're normally going to get is more of a position test. The test is, is uh, well, it's not a position test. I call it more of an investment test. The test is, is that um, out of all the other guys and all the options of guys that she, she can be with, are you the right investment? Um, right now we're in the NFL season with the, uh, it's, we're in the NFL preseason, right? I think there's like 72 people that can only get on a 53-man roster. So the question is, is... Do I invest for our owner? Do I invest this money into this person so I can get a return on the investment? See what I'm saying? So uh, she's going to shit test you to number one because so many guys are so fake 
so many guys are so thirsty. So many guys are so creepy and desperate and weird. And, and she's got to test you because she needs to make sure that with a shadow of a doubt, you're not the weirdo guy. That's number one. That's, that's going to always be the number one thing, her test. The second test is more of an investment placement test. It's based on if you have a beautiful woman, she is going to have options. And that's the truth. And there's no, there's really no running away from that realness. She's going to have options. She's going to have guys that want her, okay? The prettier she is, the more options she's going to have question that she's got to figure out is if I invest in this guy, meaning if I invest my body, my lips, my ass, affection, kisses, hugs, anything sexual, am I going to get a return on my investment in nine times? Excuse me. Let me take that back. And 9.9999999999 nine 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 percent of the time she is not going to get a return on her investment that's why if you always ask yourself why does she have so many workers or so many banks under her branch because most of these guys don't pan through as far as uh, what she sees as an investment. You don't look, never look at the woman to test because they're going to test you. I'm not looking for the test. I know I'm going to get tested. We all are going to get tested. The, the baddest of the bad are going to always get tested. I need to show her, excuse me, why she needs to invest in me without losing a sense of myself. And that's where a lot of you go wrong. Most of you guys don't have a sense of self. So because you don't have a sense of self, you want to become what you think she wants you to be. You, she, what you what her ideal guy is to you, you will become. Well, no. Well, you know what? That's a false statement. Let me tell you why. And please cap the thing. Please, I got to listen, man. Y'all listen to this bad. Please cap, okay? Listen to me. A lot of these guys, now I understand the statement you're saying. You're saying a lot of these guys give up like Andrew Luck. Absolutely not. Let me tell you why that's a bad statement. A lot of guys don't give up like Andrew Luck. How can you give up, big dog, when you don't even play the game? You can't give up like Andrew Luck if you're not even in the game. You can't give up like Andrew Luck if you in your mommy's basement looking at a bunch of YouTube videos and reading books and shit like that. They're not even close to even in the game to even give up like Andrew Luck. And that's the thing. They don't give up. They've already given up on themselves. That, think about that for a second. The give up is on themselves. So they can't even throw a pass run the football or catch one or defend a pass or rush a quarterback because these guys are never in the game. They automatically take themselves out of the game because of their thinking and the shit that they do and how they feel about themselves. And we're going to be talking about that tonight on the Redman Group, the standards. So make sure y'all check that out at eight, but you're not in the game. Especially in her eyes, man, come on, what? Man, let me tell y'all something, man. In a woman's eyes, man, y'all not even playing. And the, hey, look, and check this out. Let me, let me keep that shit all the way real with y'all. Any game that you are in, 
and I repeat. And I am going to keep this shit all the way 100. Any game that you think you are in with a woman is a half checkerboard, half chess game where you have already lost before you even made your first checkerboard move. Before you even make your move, you have lost that part of the game. That's what I'm saying. Before there is a move that can be made, you have already lost. You lose when you're scared to talk to her. You, you, you lose when you don't know what to say. It's already negative 10. You lose when you get, uh, if you ever get to, you don't even get to the point of, I don't know, because you lose when you can't make her smile. You lose when you can't make her laugh. You lose when you don't make her think. You lose when you don't make her blush. You lose when you don't make her react. So that's 25 on top of that 10, it gives you a uh, what? 35, so you are already negative 35 under the hole you're not even in the game you are not even in the game and if by luck and chance she gives you some crumbs and allows you to call her because that's all y'all do is run behind them you are already lost man she ain't fucking with you man why would you there's nothing about you there's nothing you have to offer her to make her want to even think about uh being with you on that capacity man soon as she, she you know one two tests first test test number one what she gonna see if uh you can if you can weather the storm checking you on some shit you failing that apologizing compromising saying that i'm sorry and then when she's trying to look at uh uh and then when she looks at um what kind of man you are compared to the other guy she's with you just the same old thing just a, just a cookie cutter guy and that's why a lot of y'all guys realize you know when you think about it that's why a lot of you guys don't talk to women because you know your truth you just don't want to admit that shit i know my truth my truth is i will always have options my truth my truth is I don't need to go after something I can get like that that's my truth and that's what I live by but I'm not trying to make you me I'm just saying your truth is I gotta fuck her I need to have her uh, I gotta kiss her ass and I gotta bend over to her and I gotta compromise and I got to rip off my spine and my balls and I got to I got to be scared to approach her and uh, I got to wait. I got to wait. Now's not the right time. I can't I can't talk to her right now. It's not the right time. That's your that's you, man. And then when you even have the opportunity, you don't even you don't even take it and make it beneficial to yourself. Because while she is already playing chess, she's already got the man. These motherfucking women are smart as fuck. You know I hate giving them credit, guys, but she's already man. She's got. She already knows, and I keep telling y'all this, man. As soon as you look at her, let me just say how deep this is. As soon as you look at her and you don't approach her or you look away, she's already won. She knows at that moment that there is nothing that you can give. There is no type of return in the investment. She knows that. It's like, it's like the guy, it's like the quarterback throwing a football and throwing that shit in the stands. It's like the guy getting a handoff and bobbling it and fumbling it. It's like the wide receiver getting a pass and he's just dropping. They already know. Now, 
This is where it gets twisted, though. Even though she knows, what y'all have to understand is that that is when you become the hunted. And the hunt is not for sex. That's when she's trying to figure out, okay, this guy has no confidence. This guy is scared to talk to me. He's scared of pussy. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to say. Anxiety issues, confidence issues, excuses. He's probably a victim, lives with his mommy, has a lot of mommy. I mean, this all goes through her head in a moment of seconds, but then she says to herself, well, wait a second, I know there's a spot on my roster for him. I know there is something that he can contribute to me without me even have to give him a sniff of pussy. Do I want him as my chauffeur? Do I want him as my shoulder to cry on? Do I want to be my bank? Do I want him to buy me things, pay my bills? Do I want him to take me out to dinner and lavish me? Where can I use this guy? Because I don't necessarily want to throw him back in the pool. Okay, but I'm a, the more... I talk to him, I'm going to go ahead and figure it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a damsel in distress. I'm going to play stupid. I'm going to act like I know nothing. I'm going to act like he's winning. I'm going to act like I am following his gingerbread house. Because the more he thinks he's in control, the less control he is actually in. Rule of the game. So I'm going to make it seem like he's winning. And I'm going to make him feel like he's got control over me. Because you're dealing with a woman that is really smart. That's a shapeshifter. She can shift that shit to... Oh, wow, you're such a nice guy, and wow, I just don't meet guys like you, and wow, you just, you know, all I do is run into just those assholes, and, you know, it's great to have a guy that, yeah, baby, I'm not like those other guys. I'm not like that Steve to Dean Williams, man. I'm not arrogant. I don't know even why he's that way. I'm not like that, baby. I like taking care, and I like doing this. And all she's saying is, okay. All right, I can start seeing some attributes here. All right, let's go ahead and let me give him a shot. Let me bring him in the office and read his resume. She gets your resume, and she looks it over. It says he can't throw a football, he can't catch a football, he can't cover, he can't block, he can't pass rush, he can't even fucking tackle, he can't punt, and he can't kick. But that motherfucker can serve hot dogs really well. I know there's a spot on my roster for this guy and why he think he doing right you know he like well yeah you know I watched his YouTube and the YouTuber told me to you know what act like I don't want her so I'm a act like I don't want her and they told me that if I act like I don't want her I'm gonna get her faster because that's what he told me. So I'm going to play this role and I ain't going to call her and I'm not going to talk to her and I'm going a, I'm to a act like I have options and, you know, she going to fall in love with me 
because that's what the YouTuber told me is going to happen. Come on, motherfucker. And as soon as you act like, keyword, you acting like that shit, you know what she's saying? Oh, okay, cool. Now, I know he finally reinforced what I was thinking all along. Because a motherfucker that has options, yes, he's busy, and yes, he has a life, but he normally shows me why I need to get with him. But for some reason, this guy wants to play the game, and, and guess what happens, guys? While you think that she's waiting by the telephone like this is the 1950s, she's talking to somebody else. She's talking to the other sucker that waited five or ten days. She's talking to that motherfucker. And then you think, oh, all right, I got her. I got her right where I want her, man. I, man, I got her, man. Yeah, she going to know because... That guy on YouTube told me to run that game on her, and I got her. Yeah, so I'm going to call her up, and then guess what? Oh, my God. Hey, how are you? It's been so long since I heard from you. Where have you been? And, he, and that guy's like, yeah, I, yeah, this shit is really working. I got her, man. Yeah, well, you know, girl, you know how it is. I'm all busy out of here. Oh, my gosh. You know, when are you taking me out? You know, I want to see you. Sure, baby. Where you want to go, girl? Because he's like, yeah, see, she, man, he's right. She's showing interest and she's, she's choosing me. Well, well, you know, why don't we go to Chez France Way? Chez France Way? You mean that place where it's about $100 a plate? Yeah. I, I would love to just spend some time with you and just really get to know you. I mean, you're so busy and all, you know, it'd be great. Well, uh, okay. And then, uh, uh, then all of a sudden, once she, once she, uh, now let me tell you, I'm going to give you all the full on this shit. Now, once she say that to that motherfucker and got that motherfucker locked in, that's when she calls my kind up. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, baby girl. What's up, sexy? What's good with you, baby? Oh, nothing. Are you still talking to that bitch? Are you still, are you still with those other women and all that other shit? Baby, I told you before that when I first met you, I told you that we're not going to have a relationship. And... You know I'm seeing other people. I was always honest with you, and I told you you could be with other people if you want to. Just holler at me, want you? You're such a fucking asshole. You know what? I'm gonna show you. What you talking? What's up, baby? Oh no, I got a date, and I'll show you. Shit. All right. Well, look. Check this out, baby. Hey, look. Why don't you put on that sexy red dress on? You know what? That dress shows your ass up. Oh, you're such a fucking asshole. Fuck you. I'm gonna show you. I don't need you. All right, baby. Well, hey, you have a good time and get back at me. All right? And she get all mad. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I'm going to show him. I'm going to show him. I don't need him. How dare he? I got, I got guys that want me all the time. Who the fuck does he think he is? He ain't shit. Fuck him. He ain't this and he ain't that. You know what? I'm going out with that guy to say Francois and I'm going to have me a good time. And I'm going to drink some good wine. And I'm going to get, because that motherfucker don't feed me. That motherfucker don't take me out. He don't want to take me out nowhere. Every time I talk to him, he always tell me he don't want to take me out. Fuck him. I'm going out with that guy. I'm going to have a good time. You just watch. Call her girlfriends up. Hey, girl, can you believe that motherfucker? Well, were you busy? Okay, fine. You know what? Hold on. John, Mike, Rob. Uh, Scott, David, but hello, David. You busy? Hey, what's up, girl? What's going, man? I I just need to talk. I'm just stressed. What's wrong, girl? She said, "This is I'm just so fucking tired of him. Just he doesn't listen to me. He's just sucking fuck. Well, babe, you don't need to be with him. He's such an asshole. What are you doing tonight? Nothing. I'm just gonna stay at home 
eat some ice cream, watch TV. All right, well, if you need anything, let me know, okay? All right, well, I just, I, I really do uh, uh, appreciate you listening to me and everything, okay? Take care. Click. Oh, I feel better about myself. Now, let me call the other sucker up. Okay, well, I can't, I look forward to, to um, going out with you tonight. I'm going to show that asshole. Gets herself all fixed up. Goes out. And then they get the shade for us way. She gets with the guy. First thing that motherfucker doing, he's looking down. Just, uh, 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 yeah, hi. And she says, fuck. Why? Because she says to herself, you know what? Steve doesn't do that. Steve always makes me fight, makes me smile, makes me laugh, makes me feel special. I just love the way he brings things out of me. But this guy, he doesn't even notice anything. He's not even talking to me. Oh, uh, well, 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 come on in. Well, you look nice. Uh, so, how was your day at work? God damn it. <laughs> well, my day at work was good. Um, you know, I, I need to freshen up a little bit. Let me go into the ladies' room. Ring, ring, ring. She can make two. She'll make two calls. First call is to me. What you doing? Nothing. Chill. What's up, girl? What's going on, girl? Hey, are you supposed to be on your date and shit? Girl, go have some fun. Get back at me, man. I got. I'm busy. I holler back. Then she calls her girlfriend up. Girl, look, I'm going to give you a signal. If shit go awry, just call me when I want you, okay? Click. Go sits down. Uh, yeah, uh, well, it's, uh, it's, uh, nice having you here. Um, you know, I, um, I'm a Sagittarius. Yeah. And um, so what's your sign? She's like, oh, my God. This is driving me up a fucking wall. What am I going to do? I've got to sit here and be interviewed by this fucking guy. Shit. I wonder what Steve is doing. What is he doing? Who is he talking to right now? Why isn't he even thinking about me? Why do I? <sighs> yes, I go to college and yes, this is what I like and this is what I'm looking for and this is that. Yeah, yeah. And then finally the waiter comes up and she's like, would you like an appetizer or a drink? She's like, fuck. And the whole time she's thinking about me while she's with him. Now, again, she's smiling. Well, you know, you're just, you know, um, well, you know, I've only had one partner my whole life. And, you know, I'm just, I'm a good girl and I'm just looking for that right kind of guy. Someone that can take care of me. Well, you know, I I understand what you're saying. You know, I really believe that it's a man's place to take care of a woman. I mean, you know, it's okay to pay her rent sometimes and things like that, right? She's like, well, <sighs> pussy getting dry. She's bored. And all she can do is think about me. You know what? Oh my God, hello? No, she'll like, she'll give her phone. Now what they do is like, she'll grab her phone and she'll kind of hold it like, look to the bulk below and she'll swipe and look for a friend number and, and put the one in there, like emergency call me. Oh yeah, well, um, yeah, well, I went to college. Oh wait, hold on a second, hello? Well, oh hey girl, what? 
What, what's going on? Oh my God, is he, are you, wait a second. Look, can you, oh my God, can you excuse me for a sec? No, no, hold on, don't cry. Don't, wait, wait, I'm on a date. And I really like this guy and I really enjoy him. And I, and I just, hold on. I am so sorry. I, it's just my girlfriend was with this abusive guy and he's just, and I was always telling him to be with a guy like you can, oh, well, go right ahead and go ahead and hit. Oh, you're such, and this is when she sprinkles you with the, the fucking crumbs, touches you on your shoulder. You are so fucking amazing and I am so sorry. Wait a second, just give me a second. I'm, I'm gonna, let me just take this call. Oh, go, go right ahead. I'll I'll be right here waiting. Oh, I really got her where I want her. That's what he's thinking. Oh, she touched me. Oh man, it said in that in that ebook and it said on that YouTube. Man, me holding out. I'm I'm a winner. I'm gonna win at this. I got her, man. She touched me. I mean, most girls don't even talk to me more or less. She touched me, and she over there talking to a girl. Girl, I got it. All right, girl. All right, look. Just. Give me about, I don't know, give me about 45 minutes. I got to figure out, you know, Steve, uh, he always likes, I know he likes um, uh, steak and meat and well, side of potatoes, you know what I mean? I already know he likes that stuff. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and call him up. Thanks, girl. Hello? Hey, what's up, baby? What's going on, sexy? You know I'm mad at you. Wait, wait, baby, baby. Hold on. I don't want you to be mad at Why are you mad at me? What did I do? Let me make it up to you. How about this? How about you stop by and I'll rub your feet and I'll let you suck my dick. You're such an asshole. Baby, what you doing right now? All right, seriously, what you doing right now? I don't know who you talking to. You talking to all those bitches that you always, babe, babe. Hey, I'm just chilling. All I'm doing is chilling, playing some video games, girl. What's up with you, sexy? Matter of fact, hey, baby, baby, why don't you take a picture for me? Let me see that ass real quick. Take it. No, I'm not going to do it. Come on, baby. Take a photo. Come on, you're going to come on, baby. You know I like to see that sexy ass body of yours. <sighs> Maybe. Anyway. Look, I'm about to wrap it up with this guy. Are you hungry or anything? All right, I, I guess I'll come by. Are you hungry? Well, shit, girl, where you at, baby? Oh, I'm at Shea France. Oh, shit! You at Shea France, what? Shit, hey, girl, check this out. I heard they got this bone-in ribeye. Why don't you get me that? And I heard they got a side. Now, wait. You know the menu or anything? Yeah, I was checking the menu. Yeah, they got this lobster uh, macaroni thing, this new thing with cheese. Girl, hey, that will go. Look, give me that bone and rib. Get it medium well. And give me that lobster, that macaroni and cheese lobster. And baby, if you act right, I'm going to give you some dick tonight. Girl, fuck you, Steve. What, girl? What are you talking? What? What I do? You're such a fucking asshole. Look, baby, just send me that motherfucking, uh, send me that photo, girl. Come on. Yeah, hey, look, baby, why don't you give me something to think about, okay? With your sexy ass self. All right, well, look, let me go ahead and go. Hey, look, look, go in, go, go back and enjoy that meal with him, man. Go do your thing, baby. And I'll holler at you later, okay? But wait, hey, 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 wait a second here. Hold on before I hang up. Come on now, turn that frown upside down. Come on now. You need to stop it. Come on now, come on, come on. Where's that smile at? Come on, baby. Show me that smile, sexy. All right. Ah, that's, that's my baby. All right, now look, now you get out there, have a good time, sexy. Hey, show me, send me that picture, man. Let me see that sexy ass of yours. Okay, I'll see you later. All right, girl, I'm out. Click. Comes back to that motherfucker. Thank you so much for waiting. You you know what? I've always wanted a nice guy like you that's so kind and so caring and so understanding. Oh, um, what do you, oh, eat. 
Oh, yeah, what, what do you want to eat? Oh, baby, shit, anything you want, girl, on the menu. Well, usually I would eat a salad and some water. But you know what? Today, I think it's a really special day because this is a special moment between the two of us. And you know what I was thinking about? I was thinking it'd be a good idea if you and I, um, we would. I think we should celebrate this first date as something that's commemorable. Um, can we order that that Chardonnay? Oh, sure. Go ahead, go get that Chardonnay, girl. Oh man, and I, you know what? I've been so nervous today. I didn't eat a thing, and I am still. Oh well, shit. What you want to get, girl? Well, I like to get that bone-in ribeye, meet him well, and I like to get that that uh, lobster macaroni with cheese. I heard it was great here. I never. Oh, girl, you go get it. You are just an amazing guy. I have never met a guy like you. It just seems like. All my relationships, I've just always wanted someone that was just kind, caring, thoughtful, needy, understanding. And it just seems like you are too, let me pinch you. <laughs> you are too good to be true. You are just too good to be true. Yeah, well, you know, so what are you looking for in a guy? Well, I just want someone to talk to and someone to share my thoughts with and just someone that just, you know, doesn't see me as a piece of me. Just someone that wants to just understand me. And you know what? When I first met you, you were that guy. And I was just a little nervous because you didn't call me the first week, the, se the first day, the second day, the third day. And I thought that, wow, you are really a ladies man. And you really have a lot of women. And he's like this. Yes, it worked. Oh, my God. That YouTuber told me if I held out, they would say this. Wow. I'm in. And, you know, normally I'm not the kind of girl to touch a guy. And I, I don't want you to think of me as slutty. But I just want to show you that I appreciate you. She egging that motherfucker on the whole time. Takes two bites out of that motherfucking food and says, you know what? Well, it is getting late. And I can I tell you a confession? Can I tell you something I never told anybody else before? Well, yeah, sure. Absolutely. What's, what's up, girl? I'm at an impasse. And I, I don't really, I don't want you to think of me as a slut. But I want to let you know that there is a part of me that wants to take you home and sleep with you right now. But I am a church girl and girl and I know it's wrong for me to do that. And I'm fighting this urge and I just, can I just ask for a hug please? I just wanna, I don't normally do this. I just wanna feel your body up against mine. And he's like, oh yeah, go ahead. Now, now they hug and she's, She's like, hurry up and get this shit over with. I need to go see Steve. And he's like, man, this shit works. Oh, my God. She wants to sleep with me. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Forget about that $300 bill. Man, she's admitting that she wants to sleep with me. I knew I I knew me waiting out would work. I knew it would work. She says goodbye. He says goodbye. And she drives right over to my motherfucking house. Want to pick a fucking a flirty flight. Uh, excuse me, a flirty fight. So y'all don't even know what a flirty fight is. A flirty fight she wants you. She wants to get your attention. She knows she can't get your attention. So she kind of like holds her breath a little bit and she doesn't want to fight with you because she knows if she fights with you that you're going to kick her out the house. But she wants to flirt just enough to get a little bit of affection from you and shit. So that's how that shit go. Now, guys, we're going to be talking about some yaks tonight.
at uh, tonight at three o'clock. I mean, eight o'clock tonight. We're gonna do a live show, so make sure y'all check me out on the Red Man Group. We're gonna be talking about having a standard in this shit. But I'm gonna answer a few more questions before I wrap this shit up. But what y'all gotta understand, man, is that the game is deeper. You either gonna be the hunted or you're gonna be the hunter. So let me go ahead and read some of the questions. But yeah, we're going we're gonna have a show at um eight o'clock tonight. So let me see here. Um, um Steve, when is the best time to give a woman a massage? Well, there are different moments and different times I would like to massage her. Like when she's not feeling good. See, when she's not feeling good, like you remember I told you with my client, he was with a chick, he didn't know what to do. She was on her period. He wanted to smash, but I made him chill the fuck out on that. And I told him to go over there. And he was like, why am I gonna go over there, man? She ain't fucking. I'm like, dude, just fucking follow the playbook. He goes over there, he massages her feet. As she walks him to the door, she sucks him, gives him head and swallows, okay? So when she's not feeling good, I would go give her a massage then. Uh, when she's over my house and, you know, uh, like when you have a woman over your house for dinner and you know what kind of wine she drinks or salad dressing and you got the nice music on and you're sitting there, you're talking to her. There is nothing like just just like, you know, she got her shoes kicked off. And while you're talking to her, put her feet on your lap and massage her feet. I would do it then. Uh, I would give her a massage uh, after sex, the after play, warm up the um the lotion i would give it then uh sometimes what i love to do is this is me just being an asshole this is like an asshole moment i would tell someone to just take your clothes off i'm coming over there i want to rub your fucking body down whisper some shit in your ear get your pussy wet and leave why because i can so it's not necessarily when the right time is. It's really when you want to give her a taste of something. So that's where I would say uh, do that. Next question. Do guys ever go on, uh, on a date and everything goes the other way around? Yes, absolutely. Um going on a date with a woman now eddie you should have captured your question but you don't fucking listen when i go on a date with a woman okay and it's either feeding the ducks uh having coffee i, I don't drink coffee so it'd be tea for me or doing ice cream oh we have a great time oh the the, the time is so great that she doesn't want to end it it's so great because she is trying to really determine and figure out, okay, I just met the guy. The guy is coming off really assertive, all these things. Smile, laughing, blush, thinking, reacting. But then there's the reinforcements. See, y'all don't understand the levels. See, and y'all will learn that through the, uh, when y'all, when, when I break down the uh, ground zero, do I want to be the do I want to do the romantic smile, blush, laugh, think, re uh, react? Do I want to do the, the seductive smile? But see, they're all different. They're not the same. So depending on what I want to do, I'm going to do those things. But where I go right and where you go wrong is when before the date happens, I'm already established some shit that the date is not going to be me interviewing her. The date is going to be us having a, it's going to start with a hug and a kiss. It's going to start with fun, laughing, talking. It's going to start with just, it, it's going to start with taking her away where she's going to lose track of time type shit. So yeah, the date will go the other way around when she's with a real motherfucker, Eddie. Next question. Um, what 
Are you in an open relationship, uh, Steve? Does your wife date other men? Fuck no, my wife don't date other. Hell, dude. Hell, no. <laughs> man. Look, let me tell y'all something. I don't. I don't talk about what I do or what what I do only to to my circle. So I don't I don't discuss what I what I do and what's going on with me. Just know that I'm good. That's all I can discuss. But no, my wife ain't with no fucking no, nah, we don't do that shit, yo. So uh but let me see, is that it for the questions? All right, so all right, guys. So, uh, like I said, we got a show tonight at eight East, and we're gonna be talking about uh, standards, and we're gonna go into that, kind of go over a little bit of what we discussed a few days ago to show y'all what the deal is and stuff. So, uh, make sure y'all soak that up. Y'all got any questions? Send me an email and a number. And also, um, don't forget the birthday month. We got a lot of things, man. So. Yeah, so yeah, it's just uh it's just simple shit, dog. That's all it is, man. But uh Mr. Podcast, what I'm trying to get you to do, cuz I guess you're new to this. So, what I'm trying to get you to think and do is where a lot of guys go wrong and what they don't think and do. What a lot of guys go wrong at is they don't you're too busy don't worry about what I'm doing, who I'm talking to, and what's going on in my life. That's what my, my students don't do that. What we got to get you to worry about is why you ain't where we are at and what you can do to better yourself, okay? I mean, the shit that goes on with me and my boys and shit, and I tell y'all from time to time, but yeah, but that's the first thing you got to start thinking about, okay? But anyway, I'm going to wrap this motherfucker up. I'm the Dean, man. Uh, we'll, 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 uh, we'll, we'll chop this shit up. Um, we'll, we'll chop this up. Uh, motherfucker, tonight at 8 East, man. And y'all got questions. We're going to be talking about that. Remember, the Red Man Group. Okay, remember. It's going to be on the Red Man Channel. And we'll be doing that at 8 East. All right? I'm the Dean. Fuck with your boy, man. Peace.